we have divided this course into two sections. In the first section, we'll check what were the challenges before the HANA era. We will look into the software, hardware and design issues during the pre-SAP HANA era. We will show you a diagram which will give you a better explanation of what were the issues in the pre-HANA era. Then we will look into what were the advancements in the HANA era. How did we change the hardware, software and design issues which were there earlier? Whatever we spoke, we will also see it with the help of a diagram that will give us a better picture. Then we will understand what is column store and what happens behind the scene at the database level for column store. You will also get to know what are the advantages of column store. Column store not only has the advantages but there are certain limitations as well. So we will reveal those limitations too. You would be hearing this insert only strategy whenever you talk about HANA. So if you are hearing it for the first time, you would understand it better when we go deeper in the course. And we will explain you how insert only schema works in SAP HANA. Finally, to, before we end the section 1, we would explain you when to choose row and when to choose column store in SAP HANA. In section 2, we will check some of the common roles in SAP HANA project. We would check what are the different opportunities you get in SAP HANA projects. Then we would briefly look into the evolution of SAP HANA. We will also talk about why HANA is not just an appliance but also a platform now. So we will talk in details why HANA is considered as a platform. We will look into a block diagram of SAP HANA platform. You should not miss this section. This will give you the best clarity of SAP HANA. What is index server? So within SAP HANA, there is something called index server. So that is the true HANA database. You can look this in details later on. And then we will also show you the block diagram of index server in details. Then we will tell you where ABAP meets SAP HANA. And then we will talk about or look into the different HANA development tools. So we will explain you what is an Eclipse, what is a HANA Studio, what is the difference between Eclipse and HANA Studio, and what are the advantages of ABAP development tools. Before we move forward, I would like to request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So it's very easy to remember www.youtube.com slash SAPR. So please, please hit the subscribe button of our YouTube channel that will help us to get motivated and encourage us. Also, please like our Facebook page which is facebook.com slash SAP Yard. So we want um, more followers in our page so that it will keep us motivated. So please like us and um, follow us in Facebook as well. And also, please, please, please connect with us at Twitter. So our Twitter handle is very simple. It's like twitter.com slash SAP yard. And finally, I would like to show you the page uh, SAP yard.com slash courses. Here you would find all the free video courses. So SAP yard team has pledged to provide free content to all our patrons and all our visitors and readers. So please take advantage of this free website where you would get quality courses with no investment at all. We would want one thing in return from you that is please share our website and our courses with your team members, colleagues and friends and family and that will help us uh, reach to the larger audience and it will keep us motivated.